Hi everybody, just a short video today to look at a tool called VP Max. We'll find it in Civil 3D or any AutoCAD based application. And what it's intended to do is make more efficient our ability to work in between a paper space and a model space environment. So let me show you how this works. I've got some sheets broken out with my road job here representing plan and profile views of my project. Each sheet uh, if we were to span down, I've got at least five of them at this point. The, uh, the sheets are broken into uh, combinations of viewports that represent the plan and the profile view of my project. And what I'd like to do is I'm going through the sheets. If we uh, zoom up, I'd like to uh, maybe make some changes to the model space environment within the, uh, the viewport. Now to do that, I could double click inside the view and I could uh, attempt to start making those changes, but um, you know, as I zoom in and out, if I have the, don't have the viewport locked, I might uh, uh, mess up my scale, or maybe I'd like to see in some cases some information a little further outside the boundary of the limits of the viewport. Makes it, uh, I've got some restrictions in trying to work through this, uh, through the viewport itself in the model space. So I could uh, click the model tab, and I'm now in model space where I can see my entire project and uh, try and locate that sheet. Uh, the challenge that I have is the orientation may be different than what I'm seeing in the viewport. Could be a different layer configuration. You know, in any event, I'd like to work in model space, basically in a um, uh, perspective and rotation uh, the same as what's in the viewport here. That would be easiest for me to uh, to work with. So fortunately for us, there is this tool called VP Max that will make this process quite simple. Basically, by clicking in the viewport that we are interested in we can come down to the toolbar at the bottom and if we hover over a button here uh, just adjacent to uh, line weights and that is a uh, tool called maximize viewport if I click on that it will automatically move me into a model space view of that viewport that is consistent with how that viewport is laid out not only in orientation but also in uh, layer configuration so with respect to whatever is visible in that viewport it will adjust my model space to display to match that so now I can work in this environment make changes I, at the same time I have the flexibility I can see beyond the limits very very useful tool I'll know that I'm in this tool because it will leave a, a colored boundary around the outside of my screen indicating that I am in fact still in paper space but maximize the uh, the viewport environment to get it back to the way that it was we just come back down to the button now it's minimize viewport we'll click on that after we've made our changes and it will bring us right back into what we were in before all right so once again very very powerful tool as we begin to break up our model into uh, different pieces that we can uh, print for construction purposes or exhibits or otherwise um, being able to uh, move back and forth between these environments is going to be important as we refine our sheets and the tool VP Max is a uh, is a tool that will help us you know be more productive in, in making those changes so with that I hope this has been helpful and look forward to talking to you again soon see ya